Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Read verse 13 now. Sirach chapter 10, verse 13. So read verse 18. Verse 18. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. They that transgress the commandments are are a deceivable seed. They that transgress the laws are a deceivable seed. This this deceptive, slick, cunning, evil, divisive. Let's um where's that at? Go to verse 20. We'll be down. Verse 20. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So among brethren, he that is the uh, the leader, the chief, the captains, the the, the bishops, the, the deacons, the captains, those that are chief are honorable. Go ahead. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. Go ahead. The fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority. So the fear of God goes before the obtaining of your authority. Go ahead. But roughness and pride. But roughness and pride within that, having that authority. Go ahead. Is the losing thereof. You lose that position. You lose it because you're being prideful. Brother, say, listen, brother, you're going off. You, you got a spirit of you, spirit of, uh, of being glory on you, disrespectful. Check that spirit. No, I don't see it. Bro, check that spirit. I don't see it. All right. And you lose it. So when brothers lose the authority through pride and roughness, they have to reinvent themselves and make things up and start something new so they still maintain the authority that they lost. By, see, brother, this doctrine means this. Wow, you're right. And their evil is suddenly going to go by how far behind you. I still have authority. I'm still in position. Because you lost it. So you got to reinvent something new to maintain the authority that you know you lost. Deacon Nathan, a lot of brothers, they honor their wink. They yeah. don't honor the whips. That's yes, right. You see what I'm saying? That's why these mm -hmm. brothers, they, was never, they were never about the work of the Lord in the first place. Right. You understand? So they honor their wink. So now when Satan is coming for the wink, mm -hmm. you understand? Now they feel too shame to humble themselves, to say, you know what? This is my mistake. I repent. Uh, your brothers, let's continue walk. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're, they're holding, like you said, they're trying to hold something. Right. Like, the, uh, like they're wise. You understand? That's like right. Paul said. They're trying to hold something like they're somebody. Right. You understand? So what happens is as a, when you get, become sinful or reprobate, you lose your authority either through pride or through roughness. We've had brothers that sat amongst us. They were, sent, they were sent to a particular area to fix the school, fix the state. But their intention was, when I fix this area, I'm going to take it as my own camp, make it my own. And I'm going to be a warlord, an overlord, an overlord. A Darth Vader over the camp. <laughs> wow, but Texas. Then when he lost the authority, oh, I'm leaving. Because he was being rough. And then he goes, starts his own thing. They leave. And start their own thing for the same reason. Because the spirit, wherever you, wherever you, listen, let me tell you something. If you leave based upon being vainglorious, wherever you go, you'll be vainglorious. If you leave being wicked and rough and severe against people or brothers or men under you, you're going to leave and be the same way under the new men under you. And they're going to point it out. And they have pointed it out. Right. They call us up like, yo, you all was right. Right. And we apologize. We, so apologize. we apologize. We apologize. Y'all was right. And now they're, now they're growing. Because they acknowledge yeah. they left, found behind someone wicked. They, they made it clear he was wicked and they're gone. You understand? But at the end of the day, you, wherever you, that evil spirit is, it will follow you wherever you go. It's like a chain. You're, gonna, you're just going to keep dragging that ball and chain. As you said, Deacon, early on, you said that we never tell brothers and sisters that um, because, you leave, because you leave IUIC, you're not in the truth no more. We don't say that. You understand? The reason why we, we said when you leave IUIC, like a problem arise. And you go through your trials and your tribulation, and you don't deal with it, and you leave on that basis and talk about you leaving and go and do your own thing. That's what Deacon Iton right. explaining to you. That same evil 
that you left because that was never fixed, it's going to follow you. You know, it's going to follow you right through life. You understand? That's why I say, that's why you, that's why um, we say when you leave on that term, you're not in the truth no more. You understand? Right. Go ahead, read on. 23. Sirach chapter 10, verse 23. It is not meet to despise the poor man that hath understanding. Neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Because what happens is the brothers leave on a bad note and leave on a wickedness, and then people come under them who are perspectives of persons and have an emotional attachment to them, and they magnify them. Yeah, you're right. They're wicked. Leadership is evil. When the brother that's, that, they're just, that they're trying to defend learn from them. You understand? So they magnify a sinful man or woman, whatever it is. Go ahead. Great men and judges and potentates shall be honored. Yet is there none of them greater than he that fear of the Lord. 25, watch this. Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service. So unto the servant that is wise, they that are free will do service. That's what you have brothers in here, soldiers, people who have their different talents they contribute to the body. IUIC is not up here. IUIC is the body itself that contributes. They bring their talents, their, whether it be their art, whether it be their um, skill in a computer, whether it be their skill in, um, in video, whatever, IUIC works as a well-oiled machine. Everyone contributes their, their talent to further IUIC's growth. That's where we're at now is because of y'all. Not because of, oh, of, course, of course, the most through the most science, of course, in the leadership, but through their teaching and their grooming of us in this truth, we all realize, come in here realize, you know one thing, I can, I can, give, I can help. I can do so-and-so. Like the elders talk about, about medical insurance and so forth and all that. That's from brothers coming here with that skill and learning, okay, I can bring my skills to the table and help IUIC excel. Homeschooling, the program we're trying to work on. That's from brothers and sisters who have the talent in school or educational background to come in here and contribute. It's not just us up here. It's the whole body that works together collectively that make things run smooth. And people who are sinful and evil don't understand that. They feel, well, I'm going to do what they can do. No, you're not. This took years, Negro. Years. You ain't going to just go leave and rep replicate it and do it again. No, it ain't going to happen. That's over 100 something years, niggas. So you come up with your force. Yeah. See, man, see how, how far you will come. <laughs> it's, it takes years. It takes years. It takes experience and time to do something like that. And brothers leave, Satan goes, you can do what they did. You can do it. And better. And you're like, okay, I can. No, you can't. 25 again. Sirach chapter 10, verse 25. Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service. Go ahead. And he that hath knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. And he that has knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. When he is corrected, when he is checked. Let me give you an example of what I mean biblically. You had a situation with a, with a, with a brother. I know who it is. This brother saw a sister that was bad. He said, she's fine. But she was taken. He said, eh, but she's fine, though. And he goes and goes, you know, you know what? She got a man. I just get rid of him. So he goes and gets the man killed. Then the brother comes to him and goes, yo, I'm going to tell you a story about this guy. He had, a, he had a favorite sheep. And the man came and took that man's sheep. What should we done to that man? Brother said, you should kill him. He said, hey, that's you, David. That's you. And David said, damn. And he wrote Psalm 51. Lord, don't take the spirit from me. So and so. That's Psalm 51. He wrote that based upon that incident. So he realized, yo, I messed up. He caught himself. He got judged for it, but he still caught himself and maintained his integrity. But brothers get caught, catch themselves in here or don't, and they lose their mind and they start coming with wacky nonsense because they, they hold grudges and they leave here holding a grudge and they're never reformed. And remain that way until death comes, most of the time. And so, um, what, I'll give you an example. Brother left out of here, had an issue with us. Left out of here, confessed to an officer, listen, man, I have hatred towards so-and-so, 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 and so-and-so. And I admit that. Brother said, well, Matthew 18, go and speak to them. All right. He never does. Brothers leave out of here, I got a new doctrine. He fall behind them. See, yeah, yo, you brothers are on point. IUIC is wicked. He never, ever handled um, the situation in Matthew 18. So for the whole time, he'd been gone for what, maybe a year or two? So what convocations did he keep? None. He kept no holy convocations. So, other, so regardless of anything, he was sinning regardless. So he held a grudge one way, and then on top of being grudgeful or grudging, 
he ain't keeping no commandments in terms of the holy convocations. So when we say you leave the truth, we mean what we say. You leave out of here with that hateful spirit, you're going to remain in that hateful spirit by yourself. So you're not keeping no laws of godless. Let's get Proverbs 18, 17. Proverbs 18 and 17. We have a saying up here. We, have a, we always have at the tabernacles a huge purge. First there's the purge, and then there's the surge. Purge, you all bounce, and we get even bigger. And you bounce, and we get bigger. And you bounce, and we get bigger. It happens, all, it happens every other year. So we're not panicking, oh, my God, let's do a class. People can stay. Oh, Lord, have mercy, catch our tears. Hey, hey. We don't care. Every year the same thing happens. Every other year, if not every year, or every other year, people come and people leave for whatever reason, and we get bigger and do bigger and better things. So we look forward to your departure. We don't cry over it. Did the Messiah cry over people leaving? He said, well, you leave me also? Okay, let's continue. Yeah, let's, let's right. kneel people. He didn't care. You don't read about Christ saying, Peter, go find them. Tell them I didn't mean that. I didn't say eat, drink my blood and eat my flesh. I didn't mean it that way. What I meant was this. Explain to them. He didn't care. <laughs> we don't care. Right. 18. Hey, oh, hey yeah. let me explain what the purge is. Because you mentioned every year or two we get a purge. Every year or two we get a purge where those of you all that watch that movie, The Purge, you all remember that movie? The, they said the population was too much. You understand? So they so they have a day where it's legal to kill, you know. Everybody just kill everybody to decrease the population. Well, that day. So in IUIC we get we get some called a purge where and the purge, and you all also know what's a literal purge, right? A literal purge, like like every three months in the islands we take a purge, meaning you purge out your body from all the, the infirmities in your body and so forth. You understand? So what happened, we have a lot of brothers and sisters amongst us that do not believe. A lot of brothers and sisters amongst us, they fake in the funk, they fake, they phone you dead weight. You understand? So what got to happen more time, we got to have the purge take place. And guess who is the ones that bug out? These brothers and sisters that don't believe. These fake brothers and sisters. You brothers and sisters that's not studying, you here playing church. You know what I mean? So the purge take place and, you know, you all, you all, we get rid of you all. You understand? And as Deacon I think he's going to explain what takes place after that. Like a plant. You got to prune the plant. You prune it, cut the ends and so forth, and it grows. Because it's dead. Like, oh, if you have an uh, ingrown hair, or ingrown, ingrown, like a dead end. You women sisters cut well, what dead ends are. It cut the ends. So it grows. Because you're a dead end. Split end, dead ass you are. Defectors, derelicts, delinquents are dead ends. Dead weight. Ball and chain. Waste of time. Waste of air. Proverbs 18, verse 17. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 17. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just. So he that's first to leave and do their own thing, they seem just. I'm leaving on a good note. I'm leaving on a good note. I'm just going to leave and do my own thing. The truth is just not with you. I'm going to leave and take what I learned and just go and do something else. So it says they seem just when they do that, when they're first in their own cause. Go ahead. But his neighbor cometh. And searcheth him. But some will fall behind you and go, yo, you was right about that dude, man. He was no good. You was right. He left and did his own thing. He's doing the same thing he did when he was a child. It never fails. It never fails. They'll complain, yo, you was right about so-and-so. We always get that. When they leave on a bad note and attempt to do something else. One brother, one brother left out of here, bugged out. Used to, be, used to be on substance as well. Left out of here because of the full moon. The full moon thing, he didn't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't understand it. He left. Okay, he left. Then start doing videos about what? Attacking us. Had two men beside him. Then he said to them, I'm your elder. They was like, Negro, no, you're not. And they left him. Because their agenda was not against us, but it was it was to leave being told what to do. So when he left with them thinking he was like, their elder now, they was like, nah, we have no elder. We out. One of them is now sleeping in his car, sleeps in his car, lost his wife, lost his children, and sells and sells things to eat food. Homeless. He's a derelict now. A derelict now. The third definition. <laughs> Homeless from house to house. That's who he is. Because he felt, well, I'm going to leave IUIC because of the full moon. No, he didn't want to be told what to do. He didn't like being under authority. He didn't like that. That was the reason. Everyone leaves for one reason, but there's a reason behind it. It's never ever what the doctrine is. It's always, 
That's called the, these are called scapegoat doctrines. I'm going to produce this doctrine to reinvent myself, and those who follow me supposedly believe in it, but they don't believe in it. They're just using it as a scapegoat to leave and to go back into the world. And I'm going to prove it to you that when people leave out of here, the people, the men and women that leave with them, what their agenda is when they leave. I'm going to prove it to you with evidence. Sirach 26. Sirach 26 and verse 28. Sirach chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty. We have a lot of that. People go to war and come back homeless. Go ahead. And men of understanding that are not set by. That are not put in authority. Go ahead. And one that returneth from righteousness to sin. The Lord prepares such an one for the sword. So one that goes from being wicked to righteous to wicked again. The Lord says, I'm going to kill that one. That's the worst kind. I go from righteousness to sin all over again. That is the worst kind of person. The Lord, he said, the prophet said, that makes me angry. I don't like them kind of people. Verse 29. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from, wrong, from doing wrong, and an huckster shall not be freed from sin. Read again. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from doing wrong. A merchant is a man that deals with money. A businessman. Men that like to have money. They're very covetous. Merchant, a merchant will always read again. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from doing wrong. Because their mind is always about making money. Always have to make money. Money, money, money. That's a merchant. Go ahead. And an huckster shall not be freed from sin. The word huckster is where you get the word hustler from. Hustler, huckster. That's a businessman. They always have to be about money, 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 money all the time. I'm going to wait until tabernacles to leave because I'm going to get paid first. Then I'm going to bring my doctrine, then leave. We ain't dumb up here. We know what's going on. Read the next chapter. It's going to continue from that, from that verse. Many have sinned for a small matter. People leave for small matters, but make them bigger than what they are. Many and have sinned for a small matter. Go ahead. And he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. They that seek their eyes in abundance will turn their eyes away from judgment, from God's judgment, from the commandments. Go ahead. Verse 2. As a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so doth sin stick close between buying and selling. See that? So whenever you have someone whose mind is focused on money, money, money over time, sin doesn't, sin falls behind it. It never fails. You always find those who are covetous about money, 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 and make that money all the time, business schemes that get paid and so forth. You always find sin follows them wherever they go, wherever they go. And it will reveal itself in its own, in its own time. Get, um, jump down to verse 4. As when one sifteth with a sieve, the, the refuse remaineth. The refuse, the refuse remaineth. remaineth. Uh -huh. So the filth of a man in his talk. That's what I said earlier. It, it'll, it will reveal itself. Because over time, you can tell when a man's talk what he's really about through their conversation. What they're about the truth or about themselves. It'll come out in its own time. Read on. The furnace proveth the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Right, go ahead. The fruit declareth if the tree have been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of man. So the same way you could tell by a, 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 if a plant has been taken care of or, or, or pruned properly, you could tell by a man's agenda in his, in his speech, in his talk. You can determine it. Go ahead. Praise no man before thou hearest him speak, for this is the trial of men. You got to pay attention to what people say. Pay attention to their words, and you'll see what they're really about. Go ahead. If thou followest, the, if thou followest righteousness, thou shalt obtain her and put her on as a glorious long robe. Go ahead. The birds will, result, will resort unto their like. So if a brother is about business and making money over time and hustling and so forth and there's sin behind it, He'll always have birds that resort to him because their mind is the same way. And I'm, I'm going to show y'all. Every bird, every kind cleaves to their like. Every kind. Go ahead. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. Uh, As the lion lieth in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. Because whenever a doctrine of madness comes along and you ain't studied, it's gonna get, Satan going to get you. He's going to get you. Because you're not studying. 
like you mentioned in class today earlier, you're not sound in doctrine, you're not sound in faith, you're not sound in mind. You're weak, you're faithless, and you're wavering. Go to chapter 13, verse 15. 13, verse 15. Every bird resorts unto his like. Sirach chapter 13, verse 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. Watch this. All flesh consorteth according to kind. Birds are birds, bears are bears, fish with fish. Go ahead. And a man will cleave to his like. You have a man that's emotional, weak, and soft, and so forth. Men who are like that will follow behind him. If you have a man that's about making money, and making money and hustling, and making money over time in righteousness, Men will follow behind that as well. So a crypto dollar has, a million, has millions of followers. So if you have men out there who don't care about God, they're trying to find out his secrets. I make all that money. Get that private jet. They don't care about the Bible, about God. They want money because that's their God. Their God is money. Go ahead. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly? You can't have a That's why they leave. What fellowship has the wolf with the lamb? One will devour the other. So the sinner with the godly, because the sinner will devour, they'll devour you spiritually, devour your mind, they'll devour you with doctrine and so forth, so you can't, they can't be joined together. One has to go, or one will devour the other. What agreement is there between the hyena and a dog, and what peace between the rich and the poor? There's, it's, it's, it's two different things. Sirach chapter 27, verse 10. As the lion lieth in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. So, so as the lion lies in wait for the prey, so does sin, and Satan, that's Satan, for them that work iniquity. So when you miss the sin, Satan going to find you. He will get you one way or another. He'll take you out. And I'm, I'm going to show you all um, examples, scripturally examples, of how Satan will find someone with a certain spirit in them and take them right out. It's a matter of how and when. That's all it is. But it will happen. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Take Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.